this was my home, not so long ago. We lived together in harmony. One day everything started to change, and a known phenomenon brought us new visitors. They multiplied within a blink of an eye. They were octopuses, who turned out to be our enemies, and all of a sudden, when they were everywhere, they attacked us by surprise. Only a few of us were able to flee, the others were frozen into ice, it's only a matter of time until they found all of us. I have no choice but to accept the challenge, so that my friends can be saved and peace shall be restored. Thankfully, I was able to find proper equipment for my journey. And that's how it all started. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Turtle Bay. This game is one of the games I love the most. And trust me, it's really nice. You'll see for yourself. Just give me a second to uh, I minimize the game, I know it. I just need to... there we go. Okay. You'll see how fun this game is. You'll see. Anyway. Just choose an island. We only have the first one. Big 1 to 5. 0% completed. 0 out of 14 Tartal rescued. So let's do this. Welcome to Tartal Bay. Good to have you here. We need your help. At the beginning, let me introduce you to the control. Simplified mouse control. Use the mouse cursor to point in the direction you want to move. Press on left mouse button A to accelerate. Keyboard controls, okay, A accelerate, B turn left, C turn right. Whatever. I'm using the mouse, this is way better. With the arrows, it just it just sucks. You can't even you can't even turn at full speed. Mission goal, the base plug by Octopus sex. Make yourself familiar with the controls and destroy all legs to complete the bay. Touch the balls to get more in. I mean, with the mouse, you just basically can turn around every time. You can just spin, no matter how no matter how fast you turn the mouse, you, you just turn around, no problem. With the arrow keys, there's no way. There's no way. There's not even way. You can't even push the down key to turn around. That's why I'm using the mouse control, along with a keyboard key. We will see in a second. Well, in a second, in a few episodes actually. All right. So what we need to do is keep pressing the left mouse button, we can move around. And our goal is to destroy the eggs. You just need to touch them and you'll get points. And sometimes you collect pearls which act as bonus points. The ice cubes contain capture targets. Try to rescue all of them. You just need to touch it and there you go. You recruited the turtle and as you can see, they can actually help you. By taking some eggs out of you. However, if you go too far, they will be inactive, just get a little bit closer and there you will become active. They can swim really fast. The life energy is displayed in the top left corner, over here, three hearts. If you're hard, you will lose some of your life energy. You will lose? Isn't that... isn't that wrong? I mean, it's supposed to have one... oh, not two. I actually never noticed that. Okay, fine. Thank you for ki killing that thing. Ray, now you can leave the bay, all the arrows. You can play a bay anytime you like, without having to beat all the enemies once again. Indeed. Let's move on to the next level. Mission goal. That's the octopus when it begins to morph and its color changes. Only then it can be harmed. Hurry up before the split, destroy all eggs. Okay, first of all, information. You can pause the game pressing S, P, or pause key. Once paused, you can exit the bay and go back to the island selection here. Read the title first and foremost. Uh, before they split, I'd like you to die. Thank you. So if you see the eggs grow by way too much, I'll show you. And that's what happens. If the screen fills up too much of enemies, you will lose. So, yeah. And, see they spin? If they spin too much, they're gonna shoot that purple thing in which are it. Okay, information here. It seems that you can reach these ice cubes right now. Maybe you should come back later. Indeed, this... This game is not pretty linear as it might seem. You'll get power up that will help you later. I mean, you'll help you later and in earlier areas to unlock everything. 
Getting 100% isn't easy, I can tell you. Ooh, bonus point. Hey! By the way, this hard here replenishes some L here. There we go. If you lose, if you lost it. There's a small heart and a big heart. The small heart is worth one third of a heart, and the big one is basically for a store, I think. Anyway, let's go on. Potion mines. All these mines threaten the bay. You can move the items like TNT boxes and destroy the mines by moving TNT boxes in front of them. Jungle, destroy all mines. Attention, if you touch a mine, you will explode in the heart here. Easy as that, you can just steer. Boom! I think this info is. Yeah. You already seen that. Boom! Don't worry about little turtles. Little turtles don't get touched by the mines since they swim under the wall. And you kind of swim surface. Boom! Okay. And. The last one. Got it? Boom! Potion mines, keep away from the mines. Okay, in this level, all you need to do is this, and now wait. Wow, the mines blow up the octopuses. This makes the whole thing much easier. Indeed, and that's a big heart, which acts as a full restore. Be sure to get them, even though if you're, even though, even if you fall life, there's still 30 points. Let's free the turtles, and we are missing exactly four. We've seen them, but we cannot reach them for now. Congratulations! You have completed the first island, a new one has been unlocked. You can play a completed island anytime by selecting it. You might even find some secrets. Let's go on to the second one. A6. Great, you gain fuel for your afterburner. Double click on the acceleration key to start the afterburner. Let's need a double click and here we go! Turbo mode! Great, you learned to use your afterburner. Now use it three more times and destroy all eggs in this area. But there are none! Yeah, so as soon as you try you start the turbo mode, there they appear. Your afterburner uses fuel. If you run out of fuel, look for new fuel barrels to appear in your tank, like that one. This thing over here is a special item, it's an art container, must like, it's not real an art container, it's more like a piece of art, think of it like Zelda if you know what I mean, but we'll get introduced to those later, anyway, let's pick that up, let's go. So with the afterburner now, we'll see maybe with the info. use your afterburner to shorten the distance between your enemies, if you're out of fuel, look for the fuel barrels. And they are limited, of course, but don't worry. Try to keep your fuel. Don't just waste it. Now you have like really just like five hits of fuel. So you can only use it five times before you need to recharge. Later on, you'll have more. But at least in the beginning, try to not use it a lot. I use it when I know it's useful. There we go. That leaves only you! And by the way, if you collect a, a fuel uh, tank here, by, and you're still and you're full already, you get 15 points, so it's never a waste. I dare die! And I'm likely to recruit you. Okay, there's that. Any help here? Up. Okay, just one more. The bonus points! Yay! A 75 point. Yay. And 25 more. Can't get that one quite yet. Okay, quickly destroy all those. And I'll wait there. No point! Okay, those guys are a little. Wow. That one sure worked a lot before stopping. Try that. And you. And thank you. 
But I think there's no way to get that um, that turtle over there. But there is actually. There you go. That's the only way you can get that one without getting a power up later. On. You picked up the armor improvement. It allows you to destroy certain objects while using your afterburn. Try it on the barrels. Yes, exactly. One, two, three. Bam! Destroy. You'll need to use fuel to do that, but then again, it's what? Yeah. At the beginning, as I said, you don't have a lot of fuel, but later you'll see. And there you go. Thank you. Alright, thanks a lot. And you. Okay, done there. But you can see the hard piece of it. the piece of art. Come on. Great, you found a part of a hard container. If you find all three parts of the container, you'll decide a new heart for your life. Energy. Exactly. So be sure to look out for those. They're usually hidden. Or if they're in plain sight, you need to do something to get them. Okay, we completed this bay. Now, if we go back here, for example... You remember those turtles that we couldn't get before? Now we can! Okay, got through them. Quickly get out of here. Let's see, there are more of them over there. Okay, I got them all. I got 14 on 14. Now, uh, if I want, instead of just completing the areas, I can press S and do an exit bay. This will save the progress. So you can see you got the points for the completion. And you're missing a turtle. We know what that was. Uh, we can't get that in our container quite yet. So we'll skip ahead. Okay, there it is. And there's another piece of art there. So... Yeah, it will say the same thing. Okay. We're just missing one. And that's it. I'm not even doing this again. And that's it. Those are the basics of Tarjul Bay. Not that complicated, huh? Well, I'll reserve the next areas for next time. Girls, on the other hand, I feel like it's supposed to end an episode right here. So you know what? I'll see you guys next time on Turtle Bay. Bye bye.